boyfriend at the time, what the hell is crawling on my bed? There's a bug on my bed. It's a big black beetle-like bug. Should I flick it? Oh, fuck. I tried to flick it and it didn't go anywhere. BRB, quick intermission. Get off my bed, you know. And then, and then, and then, I don't even know where to start this. I feel like I should have like scripted it or taken down notes or something like that, but I got nothing. We're just rolling with it. Welcome to my channel if you are new if you are not new thank you so much for coming back my name is frankie if you do not know that already um my hair is doing something i don't know i tried to curl it differently than i usually curl it and i think it's a little bit too short for the method that i used but i mean it doesn't look like i'm balding so that's kind of a win i guess i don't know anyway Today's video makes me a little nervous to post, just a, just a little bit, um, only because I'm not sure if it's gonna be like TMI or what, but it is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me, and I know a lot of people like embarrassing stories, I personally like embarrassing stories, I know a lot of people in my personal life who enjoy listening to embarrassing stories, so I thought you guys might be interested in hearing my most embarrassing moment of my life. Um, it's also a period horror story, so if that's going to make you uncomfortable or anything, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I don't know how to start this. I never tell stories. I never tell stories because nothing interesting enough to tell ever happens to me. So I'm kind of just like lost right now. I really don't know what to say or how to start it. So bear with me. I'll try to edit a lot of this out like as much as I can because it's nothing. It's not necessary. So I started my period, you know, whatever, normal. I had like the cramps and the bloating and crankiness everything that comes with it so i knew that it was coming it came uh maybe one or two nights later i went to spend the night at my boyfriend's house uh he lives with his mother his sister and his brother boyfriend at the time by the way just clarifying um yeah so i went to sleep at his house <laughs> And we were kind of like playing around on the bed, not sexual, but like, you know, just playing around, like goofing around like couples do. Basically, he noticed, uh, because I was on top of him, like we were fully clothed and everything. It wasn't bad. It was just like, you know, we were wrestling around and I was on top of him. I don't know how he noticed, but he was, he jokingly was like, uh -huh, you're either really wet or you bled through your shorts. And I was like, well, I'm not wet. So, uh, great. And like, literally when he said that, I immediately was like, bled through my shorts. And I was wearing pajamas. I was like, I went to his house in my pajamas and I didn't bring extra clothes because we weren't planning on doing anything. The next day we were literally just gonna hang out whatever so i didn't bring any extra clothes those were literally the only shorts that i had and the only bottoms that i brought with me and i was like so i was hoping that it wasn't oh i hate that noise oops so i went to the bathroom to check i only brought two tampons because typically i have a very very light flow it's not bad at all i get all of the side effects super horribly but the actual bleeding is never that bad at all so i knew that i bled through but i was also kind of like expecting it to not be that bad because i never bleed through anything anymore i haven't bled through a tampon in so long so i didn't think it was going to be that bad so i went to the bathroom to check and it was bad there was blood literally all over my shorts so 
I went to his sister's room and I was like, hey, I bled through my shorts and I didn't bring anything else to wear. Do you have something I can borrow? So she gave me some sleep shorts that I could wear. I went to the bathroom to change them, to change into them and like change my tampon out and everything because the first time I went into the bathroom, I was just checking how bad it was. And when I realized how bad it was, that's when I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to wear my shorts. I have to go ask for another pair of shorts. So I asked, I got new shorts. I went to the bathroom to like do my business, change out, whatever. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you I, when I pulled that tampon out, fucking Niagara Falls, dude, just red Niagara Falls, I promise, <laughs> it was so bad, and I didn't expect it to be that bad at all when I pulled it out, <laughs> so I, and then, and then, and then, oh, I am not articulating very well right now. I feel like I'm never articulate. It was so bad I couldn't even get the tampon in. Like, here's one of those parts that are gonna be a little TMI. So like when I was holding the tampon and trying to push it in and whatever, it was so slippery down there that when I tried to push it in, I couldn't. It wouldn't, like, it wouldn't, like, push because it was just sliding all over because there was so much blood everywhere. And I was like, oh God. So I stood up, like I got off of the toilet and stood up like looking down there, trying to like make something work. Cause dude, I only brought two tampons and I need a tampon. Like I gotta have something down there so this doesn't happen again, you know? It was so bad. I bled all over his bathroom, you guys. And they all share one bathroom. So I bled all over the toilet the toilet was full of blood the toilet seat was full of blood i had to like wipe it down and clean it off really good oh my god this is so gross uh my shorts were literally full of blood my underwear oh god i had to throw them away i had to throw away the shorts too uh oh uh, it was so bad i bled like it was when I stood up to try to see what was going on and see if there was like a way I could get the tampon in because I needed it in. The second I stood up, it all went all over his rug. <laughs> like, and I, I went to their house like frequently, you know, that was a brand new rug. And that was literally the first time I'd ever seen that rug in their bathroom. And I even took note of it. I was like, oh, they have a new rug, that's cool. I, I ruined that for them, I ruined that. <laughs> so, I kept wiping and wiping and wiping, trying to get everything dry enough to get a tampon in, and once I finally did, and I tried to like clean everything up, and once I got everything clean, aside from the rug, cause I couldn't clean the rug, I called him and I was like, I think something's wrong. Like I'm bleeding everywhere, it's just pouring out, I don't know what to do. And you know what he told me? He told me, I don't know what to do. I don't know what that means. And then he called his mom over and made me explain everything to her and his sister because his, like, this is the bathroom door and this is his sister's door. So his mom and his sister were both there and I was explaining everything and I was like, dude, I don't know what's wrong. It's never been this bad. I've never bled this bad in my life. Like I, I'm literally just pouring out everywhere. I got it on your guys' rug. And oh my God, it's so gross. And she, I can't, I, when I think back to what she said to me, I, I literally just want to crawl in a hole and cover myself and die she tells him something and i didn't catch it like i was like what what did she say and <sighs> you guys there was blood pouring down the back of my legs so i was like what 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 like trying to see it you know and <sighs> Oh my god, it was so mortifying. 
and you know I, I I I had asked because I didn't know what she said I didn't catch it and he was like wait turn around and so I turned around and they were all all three of them were staring at like my back lower half and he was like oh you have blood all over the back of your legs and I was like what I literally wanted to leave so uh, I had to take a shower <laughs> to wash myself <laughs> and um, yeah I, I, I had to beg him to take a shower with me oh also their rug they put it in the washer and the stain came out so like that's nice but wow imagine like imagine just buying a rug for your bathroom and then your son brings his girlfriend over and she just bleeds all over it from her vagina like Wow, you know? Anyway, so we took a shower together and I don't know. He like washed my back and stuff. I cleaned up the blood. It was sweet. I washed his back, whatever. <sighs> Y'all, I had a panic attack in the shower. <laughs> like, towards the end of the shower, I felt really nauseous and I felt like I was going to pass out. And I turned the water cooler, like, thinking maybe that'll help. And I just, like, held on to him because I felt really, really weak. Like I said, I literally felt like I was going to pass out. So while I was sitting there holding him, something happened and I started, like, not being able to breathe. I was just, like, <sighs> like, I started gasping for air. And it panicked me because I, like, I, what's going on? I can't breathe. And I started crying and, like, you know, just panicking and he like moved some shampoo bottles and let me sit on the like ledge and he was just like petting my hair and like Shh, calm down it's okay you know whatever just trying to make it stop and dude like as if I didn't already bleed all over this man's brand new rug <laughs> now I'm having a panic attack in a shower you know wow good times uh and then I got very concerned that his family was going to hear me having my panic attack and I uh, think we were you know that didn't even we weren't getting funky I was just almost dying literally I couldn't breathe it was so scary it was like one of the worst things ever that part was also embarrassing but it wasn't as embarrassing as you know bleeding out all over his entire bathroom with his entire family there to see and uh, to point out the blood dripping down the back of my legs that I walked out of the bathroom and into the living room like that because I didn't know. And then finally, eventually, you know, it calmed down, whatever. I had to wear a big old diaper-like pad that night <laughs> to sleep. So, you know, we cuddled, we fell asleep. And you know, as if, everything wasn't horrible enough i didn't even mention the cramps because i feel like that goes without saying but yeah my stomach was also trying to murder me when this happened like it was so bad so bad i felt like i was gonna die just from the cramps alone and then the embarrassment and then not being able to breathe and crying and freaking out and feeling like i was gonna pass out it was just all so much right and then i wake up in the morning and i bled on the sheets too you know just the cherry on top of everything the sprinkles on the cupcake the fire on the candle y'all really just had to add insult to injury didn't you so yeah I'm still mortified I still want to die every time I think about it I just want to shrivel up it was by far the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. I hope it stays the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I don't want worse things to happen. You know, that was already bad enough. Uh, I think that's pretty much all of the, the fun little details and whatever. So, I'm gonna end this here because I have two other videos to film. And yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for clicking on this video if you enjoyed it. If you felt mortified for me, if you are embarrassed for me, please give it a thumbs up. 
Uh, if you are interested in seeing more of me, I will link some other social media below. Um, I think that's it. Okay, bye!